Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm JP, together with Jumping, and uh, today we will be talking about uh, two of Malaysia's uh, largest banks, uh, their latest quarterly results and the first half of 2022 results. And uh, they do have some differences in terms of their uh, net income. And we are going to deep down inside what is the key differences between uh, the first half results of Maybank and also the first half result of Public Bank. Yeah, so uh, I think before we start, uh, as usual, the disclaimer, uh, all these things, just personal view, don't actually act as any buy or sell uh, advice. So please do your due diligence before uh, doing any investment. So of course, uh, we will zoom into the two key candidates. Uh, of course, people might say they are top three in Malaysia. You've got Maybank, Public Bank, and also CMB. But today, we just zoom into these uh, two largest banks in Malaysia. And then uh, this is basically the key uh, P&L uh, information from the latest uh, performance, which is first half of 2022. So you can see uh, most of it is giving kind of like a stable uh, uh, recovery. Uh, actually, the recovery has been started uh, since a few quarters back. And of course, uh, aligning with all the global uh, global movements, uh, the whole recovery is basically the team. But of course, one of the things that actually caught a lot of investors by surprise, if you zoom into Maybank performance, you'll be surprised when you look into the so-called net impairment loss. It's actually uh, growing compared back to the first half of 2021, meaning they lost more money due to back debt they give out to all the uh, people who borrowed money from them. So that's why uh, this is some of the things that we wanted to actually share with you further uh, in the few, at the few slide. And uh, other than that, on the other hand, uh, even though they may not be the biggest bank in Malaysia, which is public bank, but uh, stability is always their key strength. So you can see uh, when you talk about the so-called loan loss allowance, uh, instead of they lose more money due to bad debt, they basically manage it better uh, during uh, the first half of 2022. So this is basically the key difference between the two. Even though from the high level perspective, uh, they are somewhat uh, coming back from the worst really. Uh, they are actually doing into recovery mode. But all in all, this is uh, how they actually manage their risk. And of course, uh, when we wanted to zoom into uh, the two biggest banks in Malaysia, uh, there is a few angles you really need to look into it in details. So beside the PL performance, uh, the most important thing is actually you should see uh, what is the so-called net interest margin. So basically this is uh, the difference between the interest margin you give up as a loan uh, and of course contract off with the interest you give, give uh, people who actually put the money with you uh, as saving. And then of course the difference is the net interest margin. Basically this is the key thing that allowed the bank to make money. So uh, you can see FY 2020 is basically the worst year for uh, Maybank due to a lot of uh, uncertainty during pandemic, but they have actually slowly uh, recovering back. And if you look into first half of 2022, they already back to 2.38, which is uh, kind of healthy uh, from a recovery standpoint. The same go to public bank. Uh, of course, uh, the worst is basically uh, back in 2020. Uh, the worst is actually 1.57 during quarter two of 2020. Uh, but of course, again, they have already recovered and hovering in the so-called stable net interest margin, which is about 2.1 to 2.3. So of course, uh, this is one of the first things to look into it when you analyze a bank. And then I'll pass on to Jupan to cover some of the other angle. All right. So after ensuring that the net interest margin is actually recovering, so the next one to actually focus on would be uh, the GIR ratio or in the uh, full term would be gross impact loan. So gross impact loan mainly will measure uh, what percentage of the loans that the bank thinks that uh, potentially could be bad debt, right? Because it's gross, right? So if you look at um, for Maybank, uh, in the month of June 2022, the latest quarter, you can see that their uh, GIR ratio actually came down quite a bit, right? Because we Back then in March, in Q1, it was uh, 1.95, so it came down by roughly uh, how much? Which is uh, around 10 basis points, right? 
So from 1.95 down to 1.81. So more than that, right? 14 basis points. And whereas for a public bank, as what you being say, uh, stability and uh, scrutinization has been their key strength. They do not um, uh, willingly uh, give out loans if the individual is a bit more on the high risk side according to their books. So you can see that their gross impact loans is very, very low. In fact, uh, even at the peak, uh, where gross impact loans was at uh, 0.36%, it was still much lower to what the uh, Maybank actually achieves right now, which is 1.1%. So uh, for public bank, their gross impact loans ratio came down to uh, 0.29% as of the latest uh, June 2022 quarterly results. And of course, you can see that they highlighted uh, they are much better by the industry standards, which is 1.7%. Right. Uh, of course, uh, to also grow a bank's uh, top line revenue, uh, they do uh, need to also put effort into growing their gross load. So you can see that for both banks, Maybank and also Public Bank, as highlighted here, you can see that the gross loans have been uh, uh, recovering, right? Uh, meaning to say that when recovery happens, business uh, continue to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, they will also employ more manpower. They grow their um, sales team or whatever uh, operating expenses and uh, of course for people working with these companies they will get salary and also uh, they will also take up loans to buy cars and also houses when uh, the need arises. So you can see across a bank's portfolio uh, loans have been going for all the regions that they are active in and the same goes to public bank as well. Uh, you can see that the loan growth uh, has also been uh, up by 5.6% comparing 2020-2021. Right. The next item we will be touching on would be uh, also uh, quite important to the bank's uh, earnings. Which is the group deposits. Uh, basically, how much money that the bank managed to take in uh, yep. from the saving perspective. And you can see uh, on the left-hand side, uh, the top one is basically the uh, group level, which is uh, consists of the Malaysia markets, the Singapore market, and also uh, the Indonesian market. So all in all, uh, they are basically uh, managed to attract more uh, fund going to their uh, savings, uh, which is going up by 5.3. Uh, and on the other hand, if you look into public bank, it's basically uh, going up as well, about 4.1%. So both things is actually looking well. Uh, they are giving up more loan at the same time, also getting people to save in more money. So in a very high level macro view, meaning the economy is somewhat recovering uh, compared back to the time that we actually having the back time during pandemic. Yeah. Right. So once, of course, this is just part of the analysis, uh, the other aspect that you should Take a deeper look would be on the non interest income, but of course, since uh, we do not want to further track the video, we will then proceed to just look at the dividends component that both banks have been paying out. So you can see that uh, for Maybank, they are the cash components of the total dividends that they have been paying out since fiscal year 10, uh, 2010 until now has been uh, somewhat stable, and uh, in some periods of time, they actually uh, even up to pay out uh, a high portion of their uh, earnings into cash dividends. And the same goes to uh, public bank as well. Uh, they also have been a very generous uh, dividend paying bank. Uh, for the past few years, they have been paying out close to 50% or around 50% of their profits as cash dividends. So uh, needless to say that both banks have been, uh, I would say, uh, good dividend paying masters. They also have a pretty much stable uh, base and uh, uh, presence in Malaysia and also uh, some parts of ASEAN. So the recovery is already imminent and already uh, showing that the banks uh, are actually worth their prices when uh, the prices actually uh, move up before they actually uh, announce their quarterly results or their first half to into into results. Right, of course, some of you guys might be thinking, um, of course, valuation of both banks are uh, different. I think the uh, price to book ratio and also the PE ratio of uh, both public bank and Malayan bank are 
on the different side of the spectrum, but do uh, take note that uh, Polybank has a track record of being very, very uh, strict in terms of uh, managing the uh, gross impact loans ratio. Uh, on the other hand, in terms of uh, growth, Malayan banking has more uh, avenue and more uh, you know revenue streams and even uh, bigger uh, geographic diversification uh, than public bank. So uh, if you just purely look at the year-to-date results or uh, returns by both banks, you can see Malaysian banking is actually up by 7.2%. This is uh, uh, not inclusive of dividends payout as uh, for 2022. But for public bank, uh, they are a little bit higher, which is at 12.5%. Uh, this also is not inclusive of the dividend yield. So uh, if you want to take a look at the bigger picture or whole picture, you can actually use um, trading view to actually plot the uh, returns of both banks and then do the uh, adjusted returns to actually include the dividend returns. But personally, for our opinion, uh, public bank actually went up faster in terms of the year-to-day performances because um, I think everyone is accepted that the um, recovery is in play and uh, for a bank like a public bank, it deserves to trade at a higher valuation due to the uh, asset quality and the uh, way the business is being run. But you also need to take a look at the other side of it, which is the growth component uh, where Maybank actually uh, has a higher uh, chance to outgrow and outperform a uh, public bank a public bank just uh, maintains its uh, market presence in uh, Cambodia and also uh, Malaysia. Yep. So I think also to give a little bit insight uh, on the business perspective, uh, Maybank basically, beside the banking services, they also included the Etika under uh, the same portfolio, meaning when you buy into Maybank, um, Land Bank, but hard basically, you're buying into the two business insurance and also banking. But on the other hand, Public bank is basically uh, pure uh, bank services. So that's why uh, they also have uh, the insurance arm, but it's actually uh, another listed entity. Uh, another angle to look in the way from a future perspective is uh, whether they are digital enough or not. So, of, of course, uh, from the uh, digital front, uh, main bank is much more advanced compared to public bank from the uh, mobile application they offer uh, to the user, the user interface uh, for the web platform and also uh, the so-called e-wallet call me uh, that's being offered up, uh, actually having a lot of traction. So this is a few angles to look into. But other than that, both are very good uh, dividend uh, payer. And also uh, from a recovery standpoint, uh, in during recession or interest rate, uh, uh, that's very high uh, at the moment. Uh, all these things is definitely a very good defending, defensive stocks to look into it. But of course, if you're interested to look into some of the other uh, stocks that you wanted to explore, but you might not have the time to do the analysis, uh, we are here to actually offer you a choice uh, to basically subscribe to a service that actually offered by us, but then uh, you will be able to read qualities, uh, reports with facts and figures. And also, most importantly, uh, you will be inside uh, the private group that actually hosted by us, uh, where we will be sharing uh, from time to time all the uh, view that we have uh, on the latest movement of the markets, uh, the latest sentiment, and of course, most importantly, uh, when we have some sort of trade that we actually do personally, we also will put it as a trade alert within the private group. But of course, there are some other uh, flagship product that we have that Jupan probably can go through in a very quick manner. Yeah, sure. So of course, uh, as what Jubin mentioned, we offer easy to understand uh, reports and also uh, facts and figures uh, that even the layman can actually uh, choose to pick up and uh, kickstart their uh, investing journey. So of course, dividend is just part of that. We also will cover stocks within other uh, segments, so growth stocks, uh, different different thematic stocks, and even come out with a selection of stocks where we choose to uh, go against the major market indices. So for Stock Plus 2021, we actually achieved 24.5% against uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ. We are actually doing quite okay. Right? And if you focused just in uh, uh, the Singapore index or just stocks within the KLCI, you might be actually uh, sitting on some kind of losses. So do check out the link in the description. Uh, we will input the invitation link to sign up for our uh, 
uh, Kaya Plus Premium Cup. And here are the examples of the thematic uh, events that we have actually run. So I think that's it. Uh, anything on your side to bring to add on before we end the video? Yeah, so I think if you guys are interested to basically uh, listen to some of the analysis from the other bank, uh, BCMB, uh, Hong Leong uh, Alliance Bank, so on and so forth, uh, feel free to actually comment into the session. We may be doing another video that maybe combine all the major banks in Malaysia to give you a quick glance on what is the so-called advantage and also maybe it's not advantage, but the strength and also the weaknesses of each bank for you to actually uh, have a view before you invest into them. But of course, other than that, uh, if you like our sharing, please give us the like and also share the video out uh, into the social media. We will be very uh, happy uh, to, to know uh, that actually you enjoy our analysis. Yeah. So I think that's about it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.